Chapter 116, Little Silly, 2, He came back, oldest brother came back, after returning to the Holy Land, a disciple from the cleansing incense ancient sect saw Li Kai from the distance, and shouted, hearing the loud shout, the group of Gu Taizu quickly came and saw that Li Kai had returned safe and sound, everyone was excited, even the cold as eyes Li Xiuang was smiling, how was the harvest, Li Kai asked, how did the disciples do with their hellish training, when it came to the harvest, many disciples were excited, Nan Huaren quickly reported to Li Kai, oldest brother, at the moment, the harvest is very rich, even though there aren't the many high-ranked beast marrows and Dao bones, we obtained a lot of spirit plants and Grand Dao life metals. We dug up quite a few one and two rune Grand Dao life metals. The best was a five rune Grand Dao life metal, dug up by Big Brother Ku Daily. Elder Gu also found a six transformation soul plant. Nan Huaren excitedly reported to Li Kai. Even a calm person like Gu Taizu was also inevitably elated. A six transformation soul plant. Ah, before, the cleansing incense ancient sect didn't even dare to think about it. If this six transformation soul plant was sold, the price would be as high as the sky. The disciples were very joyful. The sect had greatly profited. This hellish training session also filled the empty treasury of the cleansing and sense ancient sect. Are the disciples okay? Li Kai shared the happy mood and smilingly asked. We conducted several large-scale heavenly beast hunting sessions. Even though we had some injuries, they were nothing too serious. The most serious was when we chased a longevity spirit over the boundary and three disciples were killed. Luckily, Zhu Pei reacted quickly and lured him so that the other's disciple could be saved. If Zhu Pei wasn't so smart, then the longevity spirit would have killed many more disciples before we arrived. Gu Taizu said, this time, Junior Zhu Pei made a great contribution. The quiet protector Mo also praisingly added. Otherwise, my insignificant life would have been part of the casualties. As the oldest sister of the cleansing Jade Peak, Zhu Pei was a little bit shy from all of the praises from her seniors. She had great insight and never tried to steal the limelight from others, but she was meticulous and saw through all things, even though she usually was a little timid, but when there was trouble, she was very calm. Four cultivators, injuries and deaths were normal occurrences. Three dead disciples could be considered the smallest of losses, even though it was not perfect, it was still within an acceptable range. After reporting the recent matters, Nan Huaren cheerfully asked, Oldest brother, how was your hellish training? In reality, when Nan Huaren asked, everyone all stared at Li Kai. Seeing the gazes, Li Kai smiled and threw his spatial pouch into the ground and said, See for yourselves. The others didn't intend to open Li Kai's spatial pouch, except for Nan Huaren. He quickly opened it and poured out the items inside. When the items came out, they dazzlingly blinded the eyes with their brilliance. In a flash, everyone was dumbfounded. Th this, so many longevity bloods. Seeing the bottle containing longevity blood, Protector most elevated, his master, elder son, was an alchemist, so seeing blood, he started to drool as well, oh heaven, this is a 100,000 year life ring, no, th this, these are the Dao bones and beast marrow of a 200,000 year old sky shouldering ape, I, I, my heaven, ah, isn't this a 300,000 year old life ring, Nan Huaren was not shy, he hugged everything in his chest, seeing the 200,000 year to 300,000 year old items, in a short amount of time, his sight became blurry and he hated the fact that he couldn't have all of the treasures in his arms at once. At this time, when everyone was dumbfounded, even Li Xuanyun, with her rich harvest, was also moved. A 300,000-year-old life ring. This was a 300,000-year-old longevity spirit. Even an enlightened being would have to run away, let alone other cultivators. Gu Taizu also didn't believe his eyes. With his ability, he wouldn't be able to kill a 200,000-year-old heavenly beast. Yet they all died in the hands of Li Kai. This was truly unbelievable. As for the other protectors and sectional leaders, they stood there in silence, unable to say anything. There is also something good here. Li Kai smiled and took off the one million years life ring in his master palace, and threw it on the ground. I, 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 my heaven. Ah, even though Nan Huaren's expression was super exaggerated, he was also completely astonished. Even Nai Ufen was shocked. A one million year old life ring. Nai Ufen took a deep breath and said, A one million year old longevity spirit. A man would be frightened to meet one and a ghost would be sad to encounter one. This being was too ghastly. Even a heavenly sovereign's blood would be sucked dry. As for the group of Gu Taizu, they were stuck with horrors and cold chills. Their hearts were amazed because this was an unthinkable matter. A one million year old longevity spirit. Young noble, did you sneak attack it? Nai Ufen took another deep breath and asked. It was because it wasn't sensible and targeted me. Li Kai shrugged his shoulders and nonchalantly said. Since it brought itself to the door, I had no choice but to accept its life ring and longevity blood. At this point, not to mention Gu Taizu, even Nai Ufen was looking at Li Kai as if he was seeing a ghost. Li Kai's cultivation was still very far from heaven's primal, let alone named hero or royal noble. However, he was able to kill a one million year old longevity spirit. Even if you told someone this story, they wouldn't believe you because this was an impossible matter. However, Nai Ufen was only shocked for a moment. At this point, he remembered about the immortal emperor's reinforcement inside Li Kai's sea of knowledge. That day, when he tried to look inside, he was immediately suppressed by the immortal emperor's reinforcement. If Li Kai didn't spare his life, then he would have soon become clouds and smoke. What type of person was someone who was reinforced by immortal emperors? One had to know that the most recent immortal emperor was immortal emperor Takong, who had disappeared 30,000 years ago. However, Li Kai was only 14 and he had these reinforcements. How frightening and unfathomable was this? At this time, Nan Huaren regained his soul and threw away the treasures in his arms. He embraced the one million year old life ring. Instead, 
and spoke wild ruling. Older brother, you are too extravagant. This is a one million year old life ring. Ah, yet you threw it down like a piece of scrap metal, even though Nan Huaren's expression was exaggerated. But in the eyes of everyone here, it was quite appropriate. Hey, older brother is still the best. If older brother personally appeared, then you would be invincible in this world, slaying the Buddha and gods that block your path. Hey, what type of person is oldest brother? You are the revitalization of our cleansing and sense ancient sect. A wise disciple of the immortal emperor, who in this world could oppose. Nan Huaren was sucking up to Li Kai while embracing this life ring. Li Kai stared at him and naturally said, Don't you think about this life ring. First, this life ring isn't suiting for you. Second, you don't have enough contributions. Since Zhu Pei saved so many disciples, she has the highest contributions. So this life ring will be rewarded to Zhu Pei. Ah, hearing Li Kai's command, Nan Huaren's expression became sad. But he still handed the life ring in his embrace to Zhu Pei and flattered. Little sister Zhu's wisdom is unrivaled. This life ring is best for you. Zhu Pei couldn't believe what she was hearing. Right now, as she embraced the life ring in her chest, she was still in complete confusion as she asked, Th this is for me, a million year old life ring. Ah, even a protector or sectional leader would dare to want it. Yet it was given to a third generation of disciple. He he, older brother, can you give me one item? Nan Huaren looked over at the treasures as a ridiculous amount of drool was coming out of his mouth. However, without the command of Li Kai, he didn't dare to act recklessly. So be it. You have always followed me, even without any contributions. At least you tried your best. So, you can pick one. Li Kai had never been stingy to his loyal followers. So he nodded his head and said, hearing Li Kai's words, Nan Huaren's mood immediately rose again. He embraced the 300,000 year old life ring in his chest and laughed. Hey, older brother, I'll take this one. Seeing his greed, not to mention Li Kai, even his master, Protector Mo, glared at him. However, he was very glad on the inside. Nan Huaren was his disciple and his future would surely be promising. As the master, he was also ecstatic. Finally, Li Kai looked at Gu Taizu and said, Elder, the longevity blood and beast marrows will go into the treasury. Half of them will stay in the treasury while the other half will be the rewards for the disciples with contributions, depending on their actual merits. Long live oldest brother. Hearing Li Kai's words, the disciples here all cheered. Even the protectors and sectional leaders were happily smiling. Li Kai brought back many good things. Gu Taizu agreed and carried out the rewards while Li Kai and Li Xiuangin stood to the side. The trip was not successful. Li Xiuangin looked at Li Kai and finally asked him in a rarely seen, gentle manner. Even though Li Kai was smiling the whole time, Li Xiuangin, who had always followed him, noticed his loneliness. Li Kai slightly shook his head and sighed without saying anything. This matter couldn't be assisted by Li Xiuangin nor the Nine Saint Demon Gate. He had to rely on himself. Li Kai didn't say anything so Li Xiuangin stopped her questioning. Finally, she spoke. Recently, many things happened in the evil infested ridge. It was quite bloody. You went outside? Li Kai was a bit surprised as he asked. Li Xiuangin nodded and said. I went outside to experience some things. I had some small enlightenments regarding formations and wanted to polish them in order to enhance my killing potential with formations. Li Xiuangin's talents could be described to be impeccable, but her weakness was her insufficient offensive power. She was always immersed in formations so her cultivation techniques were lacking. 